Hello fans of Marvel Heroes, by very popular request, uh, here is an updated guide for Iron Man, uh, the melee hybrid build. Uh, my name is Wilfred, if you like this sort of guide, check out the link at the description below this video. Now, um, there hasn't been a lot that has been changed for Iron Man since the last time I built my guide. So, uh, I ran through the numbers again, I ran through a spreadsheet again, and in the end, um, it works out to be the same build. But nevertheless, I'm going to sort of like play Iron Man uh, in, in a harder content, which is a Cosmic Danger Room. And also talk a little bit about the, uh, the gear as well, because now we have uh, more options for gear. Uh, with the Civil War e uh, event, there are, of course, there's a very nice artifact uh, for, for Iron Man as well. So I'm going to sort of like talk a little bit on, on that as well. And the, uh, yeah, I mean, after the in-game clip, the build and gear and so on, so stay tuned. So this is a cosmic danger room with um, with Iron Man and the uh, well uh, it's a challenge rating forty one uh, is somewhat in a in a kind of mid region we'll not be able to heal uh, but we'll see how it goes so um, if you have already watched uh, my Iron Man sort of like you know video in the, in the past you probably know that this is a very much like a melee kind of like an Iron Man uh, because I enjoy playing Iron Man as melee uh, you know. I cannot imagine him like just beaming stuff and you know just be carving. So that is uh, that is a reason why I picked him as a melee. Now melee build does have his uh, uh, you know goods and bad because uh, he will not be able to like you know some of the gear that uh, been used for the non melee build. Uh, those are range build gear that is pretty nice and I don't think there's actually a lot of like you know um, uh, gear that is really appropriate for the Iron, Iron Man. Uh, melee build so uh, you have to sort of like go a little bit out of the way and uh, do something about I, I try to focus here as well you, you got to do something along the way that uh, try to uh, try to find some gear that is appropriate for him and sometimes it could be a little bit challenging as well depending on how much you have uh, already played this game uh, for some of us who has been playing this game for a while uh, that could be quite an easy task uh, but it may not be so for you know for everybody. All right. So now I'm going to just talk a little bit about his power while I'm playing this uh, danger room. That could be a little bit challenging as well because of the the wrecking ball. That is uh, my goodness. Uh, those balls are really hard, man. Okay. Ah, that is like a wow. This is a, my armor is trashed. Well, I don't know, man. I shouldn't like really uh, go into that kind of like. Is there is there any healing kind of stuff going on? So I need to. Okay, um, so he survived that pretty remarkably. I'll tell you how I gear him to be able to do something so remarkable. Uh, and he can fly as well. And the, uh, I'm using four toggles. And the, uh, let me show you the toggles here. So he's an art reactor toggle that give him the uh, convert his um, suit power with the uh, damage rating, which is good. Then we have the adaptive armor as well. Um, you know, it's more for the melee build, that's important. Uh, the missile con uh, missile control system is more like you know just extra passive and also there's a click component to it as well as the life support system uh, which is more of the constitution which is one of the buff here all right so with that said let me just continue to uh, to get this sorted and uh, okay so okay there, this is the boss and the, uh, it's just this is just a rotation time man it's not really a lot of thing to to really watch here and the uh, let me just uh, get some off. Uh, because I can't use my med kit right now and there's a lot of people shooting me here come on man and the uh, wow the Reckon Boy is hitting me left right and center but it's okay I'm Iron Man come on yeah so uh, that is it I mean you know he is functional uh, it's a bit dated his design um, and the and it's one of those that I wish, uh, one of those heroes that I wish they do something, you know, uh, for him. That is, uh, that is for his design. Because uh, the the problem with Iron Man is that unlike a lot of heroes these days, uh, a lot of heroes these days, if you observe, uh, has a lot of um, you know power that's invulnerable when using this or invulnerable when using that. But the problem with Iron Man is that um, you you can see that he's actually taking a lot of damage while he's doing all this animation and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, it, like for instance, the Jericho. The Jericho bombardment is one of my you know 
one of my least favorite power of the uh, Iron Man because it takes a while for him to do, to do it, right? So it takes like a second or so, and the uh, and and it's very strange. The vulnerability it uh, it doesn't extend to the entire duration. Is uh you know the area is about three second, uh, six second kind of thing, but the vulnerability is only about. Uh, I think four seconds of it, so it's very strange. I do not know why they do not align them, but uh, it's just one of those data hero whereby you have a lot of like animation and it's just not enough like um like uh, wow hang on a sec it's just a lot of animation uh, but just not enough wow not enough power to to sort of like uh, make make him uh, uh, more durable during this these moment like this all right so that is. Uh, only problem I have with Iron Man right now, but uh, I mean, if you are a big fan, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you you make it make him work anyway. Uh, so by and large, I think the melee build is more exciting. You got a kite a bit here and there, but kiting also has a utility as well. Kiting increase uh, the attack speed. Uh, whether you I don't know whether you're aware of it, but you know it does. It does. Uh, when you kite, you get 10% for 7.3 seconds. So by right, every every 7.3 seconds, you should just kite around a little bit um, to to sort of like you know uh, to get the best out of them. All right. So and the, uh, but when you play this melee build, you probably can't just tank tank and spam everything. You have to move around a little bit. All right. All right, man. Uh, have to pay attention a little bit here. Okay. Sorted. Get another briefcase here. I think I earned quite a fair bit. Uh, I've actually spent a lot of money rolling uh, items for Iron Man. So what am I supposed to do? This guy here is it? <laughs> Reckon for man. Uh, yep. So I have to. Wow. This this thing keep hitting me. From nowhere, I cannot activate my um, my mag kit, huh? So that is a little bit uh, unfortunate. Usually, this kind of uh, gameplay, you get something like a black cat. I think it's pretty cool because she has nine life. Okay, uh, next one is um, completed. Let's see what I mean. You can see he's pretty relaxing um, as, as a melee. So a lot of people ask me, is um, is is Iron Man still like you know, uh, like uh, like viable and and so on? I, I would say, I mean, you know, he he's I mean he's dated in the sense that uh, uh, if you don't play the the range bill, uh, which is the energy bill, uh, it seems a little bit like you know data. I mean, if you play War Machine, you probably agree with me that War Machine uh, is a lot more fluid and his uh, kind of like you know powers are more gel together. Visual effect is much better when, when so on. So, but uh, I mean, that that is the uh, I mean that is the reason why sometimes uh, some hero just just a bit uh, just a bit uh, data just a bit, all right? So. And the, uh, to further explain the uh, the power we ha I have here, so we have that that from above, uh, which is the one that he you know he jump over hit over like this. So that one hits pretty hard. And the uh, then the Jericho bombardment you've seen it before. Then you have the uh, missile, uh, micro missile that hits from a distance. The arc overload, I think it's called arc reactor overload. It's the one that he get he can uh, 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 replenish all his spirit cores. So you know that is the good thing. And I think there's a boss up there. All right. And there's record ball as well. I'm trying to get away from it and the um, micro missile. Just punch, man. And I the span that I use is the arc. Uh, is the uh, what is it called? The uh, jet thrust punch, and it's one of the highest DPS single spender if you can spam it. <laughs> but problem with Iron Man sometimes is that you have to keep jogging, uh, keep like uh, you know uh, moving around, and you may not have the uh, luxury of doing so. All right, so that is just. Uh, should I go left or go right? Maybe I should fly over all these items here. Wow, there's a lot of thing here, man. There's a record board there as well. Right. Wow. So that was a bit too optimistic and one one down, and the um, because record board and stuff like that. So that is actually quite hard because of the ball. Um, it's quite a lot. Of, damn, that I can't really see it coming as well. Uh, okay, fine. Unfortunate. But uh, okay, I think uh, I'll just continue doing this one fly over and the good thing about you know Iron Man also is uh, is a single group I mean a single single hop bar even with the traveling power so that is very nice I like it um, yeah 
So he, he does have to kite around a little bit, and, and you can see that as he does his power, you know, sometimes he, he does get hit quite a fair bit as well, unlike, you know, if you play newer hero like uh, Iron Fist or, or Black Cat, I mean, these heroes, <laughs> there's a lot of utility for them to like, even walk around without uh, getting hit at all, uh, but Iron Man is not one to be, so that 60 asset. I don't know how many assets I have to uh, do, but I've, uh, it's good that I earned some money here. So jump back in, all right? So that was the, uh, the jump that go in and the arc reactor overload, all right? Micro missile and uh, death from above, uh, Jericho bombardment that will trigger the uh, energy. So I need to think while I'm playing this as well. Wow, this is like one in and the uh, so that pool is good man that pool kit is sort of freeze the, the enemy a little bit so you know, as I'm doing all my mumbo jumbo on the uh, on the, on on the like Jericho thing here I mean at least I'm not getting too much hit like just now the first defeat was because I was trying to do a Jericho and uh, that got me kind of in trouble um, and yeah uh, let me see what else I need to do I need to destroy more asset and uh, that Jericho and the um, are overload and that's it and now uh, the one off now, even one off has its own animation and should be invulnerable uh, in a newer hero design uh, it's always been like that but uh, uh, yeah so it's one of those thing that um, all right nice so a bit of uh, range a bit of melee you can kite around a little bit and you know you can go in for the heat and punch and whatnot I think in this uh, this costume you can't really see the jet thrust um, kind of uh, punch nicely. I think for the for the normal, um, you know, for his normal kind of costume, you can actually see quite nicely on on how he um, how he punch. Uh, he he side, you know the animation is pretty nice. But this one is just too big. I think and and as always, this game can't really see what's happening, uh, which is a pity. You pay so much for the costume, you can't really see how he punch. It is a whole mesh of numbers, even though I tune it to the smallest. So now it's uh, against Kingpin, and yeah, let's not... Um, wow, that hurts, man. And I won't be able to heal, so I have to get out, you see? That rooted me. Um, that rooted me quite a fair bit. Let me do an ultimate here. House party, and an art overload, and then after the Michael Missile, and I'm going to Jericho and jump back in. I'm going to hold some punches here. Micro missile and Jericho and uh, get Nick get me out first. Micro missile, nice man. The one off, go back out because of the ball and then Jericho jump back in and the uh, missile, all right and go get out. Uh, Jericho here, then micro missile. Okay, I missed the Jericho, but that's fine. Death from above and the uh, then Jericho micro missile and just hit it like crazy. Get some health ops here and the other one off. Uh, then after that, Jericho jump back in and then do a micro missile. And uh, wow, I got hit by him. I thought I was behind him. I really thought I was behind him. Uh, very frustrating. Okay, let me just get the uh, team up up. And the uh, I think, but I still can win. I think and just I yeah I have to review the footage. I really thought I was behind. Anyhow. So that was done. Um, I hope you enjoy a little bit of uh, excitement here. Um, by no means he's, uh, he's very durable. Uh, Iron Man, you need to get a little bit careful where it is. But I mean, it's a cosmic, uh, I solo a cosmic uh, uh, kind of like a danger room with a rating that is not too low. Uh, and also uh, managed to get two chests. So I, I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm, there's no complaint. All right. So uh, let me head back out and talk a little bit about the build of the Iron Man melee uh, hybrid. Now onto the uh, the build itself for the um, this is a melee build hybrid so it does both physical and energy does uh, both uh, melee and the range as well um, on the energy bins tree there's there isn't much you need to focus on uh, I think the one off is his signature um, I don't like the fact that it has its animation is not invulnerable while doing his things and the uh, and also cost spirit usually signature these days doesn't cost spirit so it's a data design. Um, as for the arc reactor enhancement, um, if, if you look at that pool, I think the, the, the spirit actually translates to other better stuff like the crit and stuff like that. So I, I'll talk a little bit about what his shot for is when it comes to the hero design on this stat wise. But I think by and large, you have to uh, max this one to give you the kind of like, um, you know, suit power, you know, kind of like, you know, increase 
and the uh, so you have make sure you get all these things turned on sometimes when you switch spec it doesn't really turn on automatically for you uh, for the melee build the only two layer that you need to you, you need to look into is the uh, jet thrust punch um, it does it is probably one of the highest spender uh, spirit spender or resource spender uh, for the for the Iron Man uh, and it does give uh, more damage towards the elite bosses um, so that is the one and the other one that is death from above that is also good to have um, it has a cooldown if you use the um, adaptive armor which is this one here all right uh, for the melee build, you have to max this one. Uh, it does give you a flat damage to the melee as well. Uh, give you the damage reduction when you hit with a melee, and a bit of kind of like you know a defense and de defense. So he's uh, he's he's more like a defense and the flat heroes. Uh, so do take note. Uh, whatever dodge that you have put into him, it probably benefit the most because of the diminishing return. Um, Art reactor overload. The damage layer is very low, so there's no point maxing it at all. Uh, it does what it does is just restore spirit, spirit that's all, or suit power. So I use it for that purpose. Uh, it's not really an additional layer. Um, On to the tech gadget side of the uh, of the of the you know powers. Um, I would recommend the missile control system to be maxed up uh, because of crit. Uh, Iron Man has a very low crit. Uh, again, data heroes always have this sort of issues. Um, you know, it's, it's just very low somehow. Um, especially if you are using a hybrid build that you're not you're going to use a good near. Um, micro missile is the one that I would recommend. Uh, it's a very nice layer. Uh, I think min animation is quite minimal. All right. Uh, remaining a point thumb onto this one, which is to gen regenerate health and you know the constitution, which is this one here, uh, health regen kind of thing, um, as well as the uh, you know upon defeat. So just now you saw it. So he 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 managed to get back up uh, when he revived and uh, just does a little bit of uh, damage around, just for fun of it. I think uh, Jericho bombardment is the one that uh, I'm always very puzzled why this power just left it there for I mean for so long without really taking into consideration the fact that. You know, the, the cooldown versus the area duration versus the vulnerability is just all messed up, um, you know, uh, because it, it, by right you apply it every 6 seconds or so, uh, but then your vulnerability doesn't cover all, 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 all 6 seconds, so I do not know what Gazian is thinking when it comes to this hero. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that is, uh, that's basically the whole, you know, uh, recommendation on the build itself. I, there's no other way to sort of, like, um, uh, be creative on on Iron Man. There are some layers that I, I was considering, um, like the coolant blast, but no, it doesn't really cut it. it. Actually, the DPS is pretty bad as per my study, and also for the for the actual kind of like uh, gameplay wise. All right, uh, let's head to the gear part of the video. Now, gear wise, is actually quite interesting. Now, before I show you the gear, so I would like to also share with you that. Um, you know, he, he's not really the most durable melee hero I've played these days because of the so-called data design or the animation rooted him in the one place and take a lot of hits. I think just now the first defeat you saw was mainly because I, I was like trying to do a Jericho while, you know, by the time of one second, he's already de get defeated. So, I mean, there's no way you have to like, you know, unlike other heroes I mentioned before, the newer one, they have all this utility to, you know, shuttle around, invulnerable while doing this and doing that. He doesn't have that, alright? So, it's just something to take note of um, to when, you, when you play Iron Man. Sometimes it's not about how much you gear for defense or health or whatnot. It, it's just the fact that, uh, you know, his animation and so on, you know. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy playing him. Uh, you saw me playing the uh, Cosmic uh, Danger Room. I mean, he, he's doing alright. I think the second defeat, I did review the footage. I was kind of behind the target, so I don't know what happened, um, you know. Maybe next time when King Pim want to charge, just get away. Don't try to be a uh, you know, smart and hit him from behind. So um, he is a defend the flat hero. So I I do recommend a little bit of dodge. So if I if I show you this the the character the the stats itself, um, you know I I do recommend a little bit of dodge, which is here. Ah, uh, sorry, which is here. So the dodge is uh, it's not a lot. Uh, it's just about three point one percent. But three point one percent is is good enough to sort you know um, in, a, in some nasty situation. It's not bad. I mean you know whatever dodge you have, uh, 
you know, added onto him is no diminishing return. So, and the uh, it does look a little bit low, forty percent. However, once he start hitting, it become forty eight percent because eight percent come from the uh, come come from the um, passive. And also, once his uh, power cosmic prop, which is plus two, then you know uh, the, the the defense will go up slightly as well. So, uh, it, it's about fifty percent around there. Um, you know, by right, for any hero these day, 50% should be doing alright, but uh, probably not for a hero uh, like Iron Man. Um, alright, and the Iron Man converts suit power into damage rating, so you saw it before. 300% of the surplus go into damage rating. Uh, if you want to gear, gear for spirit if you can. So, like the, uh, the new uh, improved arc reactor from the Civil War event um it, it is a decent one uh, my role is all right i mean i spend around six million to roll so i don't think i want to go crazy towards uh <laughs> towards getting the uh the the the, the damage versus boss with three percent uh but i'm all right i mean you know uh, i don't think i need to spend that kind of money to just or, or credit in game just to get the perfect role uh but if you are lucky enough i think this could be a really good artifact uh my iron man i Reckon the physical damage is about seventy five percent versus the twenty five percent energy. So the plus two energy, I don't really benefit the most from it uh, versus the pure energy kind of range build. Uh, but the main thing come from the suit power itself. Um, I still prefer the white suit jacket in the sense that uh, it does give me a little bit of health as well. I think I need the card buffer for Iron Man. So I, it's a legacy decision, the one that I carry forward. If you can have some turn of curse or whatnot to help any, in any way for his crit, do it because he's very, very low in crit. And, uh, and this one, really, um, you know, there's an achievement. Uh, you get 100% for all four stats. Um, I, I have it for Thor because I think Thor is a stronger hero for physical energy point of view. But uh, for, for Iron Man, this is great because it has some crit component to it. And also, the dodge, like I mentioned before, dodge, no diminishing return at all. Uh, Relax Y, get the suit power because um, that is uh, you know, the spirit one, the Kim, Kim Borim, um, probably the best for him. Um, the, for the medallion wise, you could take the green goblin, uh, which is decent. The only problem with the green goblin is that it doesn't have a lot of crit and crit damage component to it, uh, whereby if you use a blue eyes, uh, you probably have a better result. I've tried both medallion, uh, both are very good role. It doesn't really translate to a lot of like uh, time saving. So I would not. I mean, you know, uh, either way is fine. If you really, you know, if you cut your crit can't really approach fifty percent, I recommend you to perhaps use a blue eyes. Otherwise, uh, stay with the uh, green goblin. It's fine. Um, power two because he's a physical and energy hero hybrid. All right, so that is the one. Uh, as well, as for whether defense or not defense, I mean, uh, as per his recent design, I mean current design, I would say just that defense man um, legendary for hybrid is power cosmic uh, there's no point in getting a 70 um, crystal however if you have a lot of Odimar and don't mind to invest on a rather data heroes uh, give it to him the crystal uh, for him is is probably is is his best BIS all right that's in that's in slot a uh, ring wise um, there's a lot of ring these days like the danger room ring um, the physical energy or melee physical uh, melee uh, range so this one will be good for him all right and this one is good for him now of course the challenge is to get a good role which i never have a kind of like luck to have it i mean you know, uh, that's a story for another day anyhow um unique wise a little bit challenging because for melee build um his slot one is not that fantastic um i think the fragment of twilight is probably the best for this particular melee build um the second Kind of in line probably is overseer's uh, maze. Uh, I like it because of the fact that there's a whole big chunk of uh, crit damage rating which I'm lacking off because I'm not using a gunir uh, or any gear that has a crit damage rating. So it's good to have at least a bit of it. Um, uh, it buffed the melee power a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, you know, I, I think my melee to range ratio is probably 60 40 or ish kind of thing. So I, I, I'm not too fixated on that one. I got plus three string uh, on the stack of the proc. So that's good stuff. The only thing that doesn't benefit from me is my energy component of it, uh, which I can't really, you know, uh, I can't fight everything. So that is the one probably the second best, but the best probably is the, um, 
the twilight, uh, fragment of twilight. Um, you can craft it using Sutur Rune. Um, this one wise, I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to critique too much on the unique, but uh, I mean, <laughs> Voltaic Punch is a basic, so why give a rank to a basic? I don't know, um, just some later design. Anyhow, um, this one would be for the, uh, if you are playing the um, melee build, this one is good because it does have a lot of uh, defense kind of like stats. I, I, I'm aware that there is another, I think one of these has another um, kind of like variation to it, um, but for this particular build, this is probably the better one. And the, uh, I mean, that that is really, I mean, that's all. Um, for the last slot, you can either, I mean, the difference again is very minimal. You can either go for his slot 5, um, which is fine. I, I'm fine with it. The, the, the only slightly improvement is the mass of A Grim because you know, it does have a suit power that translates to damage rating. Uh, so it's, you know, uh, plus, uh, times three, uh, three, three times of that, uh, that would be a damage rating, you know, something to, for you to compare against. Um, you know, it, it, it does have pros and cons, and one is uh, plus, plus eight on one side and plus three on the other side, but, you know, the toggle power uh, could mean something. Or, you know, I've tried both. It's very similar. So if you don't have the mass of our green, don't sweat about it. So the entire build, when it comes to the unique wise, you can just stick with uh, this one as well as everything. It's just a slot one. You need to find something that is suitable for him, um, either over overseer maze or the uh, fragment of twilight. Um, in terms of the the uh, you know the costume wise, just anything that makes sense really. Uh, the crit damage rating is fine. Um, I am also inclined to say that uh, if you have an invulnerability core, use it for him. He probably need it. I actually have another costume that has it, believe it or not. Uh, anything that helps with crit, do it. <laughs> His crit is so low, crazy. Uh, this is the pet uh, kind of like um, uh, configuration. So, um, Omega wise, I would strongly suggest to max out the Shadow King. That would give him extra crit, quite a fair bit of it. You need that. Uh, interstellar exploration is another kind of good uh, tree to maximize on. War path plus uh, fighting is good. Uh, the Sabatooth on the Brutal is good, and also um, I think that's about it. There's another, there's another tree that would like give a buff when you do physical. You buff the base for energy and vice versa. Those are pretty decent as well. But uh, I think that is all uh, I would like to talk about the Iron Man and the uh, like. I say that. The build wise is exactly the same as I had before, and I hope this gives you a little bit of like a con context as to where he is today, and the um, and I I'm I'm just hoping that um, you know more quality of life would come to Iron Man. I think he's really in need of that. I don't recall the last time he has his quality of life review, and the um, you know I still would prefer to play War Machine any day um, as a melee kind of like you know wise. But uh, I mean, you know, this is real for the fans, and I hope uh, you like it. And do let me know in the comment box below how you like this uh, video or how you like, you know, Iron Man. And until the next time we see each other, goodbye and have fun.